of what we didn't do so well on on the last test. But I'm going to be very specific <laughs> about what that is. And pretty much it's MHC. Okay. Um, you need to know what cells have the MHC. What do you need? Shannon came to evaluate you and said you weren't here. And I'm like, I'll, I'll get her back down here. No, she already did it. We're done. She did evaluate you. Okay. Yes. Because she came to me and she said, where's Diane's car? The major histocompatibility molecules. Um, class 1 and class 2. Where are the class 1 molecules? No. Where are the class 1 molecules? On like bacteria and stuff? Every day bag. Mm -hmm. Every inside. Which cells? Be more specific. The nucleated cells. Oh, yeah. <laughs> our class 1 are on nucleated cells. Where are the class 2 molecules? Neutrophils, lymphocytes, lymphocytes. Neutrophils, lymphocytes, not lymphocytes. Neutrophils and macrophages. Well, monocytes. They're also on dendritic cells, but that won't be one of your options. Basically, your class 1 molecules are on anything with a nucleus. Your class 2 molecules are on your phagocytic cells. Um, which of the class 2 molecules, or I'm sorry, which of the class 2, which of the MHC molecules identify abnormal or infected cells? Plus what? Well, 50-50 shot, try again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> class 1 gives us infected cells or abnormal cells. So it would also find our tumor cells. Okay. Where do the antigens that it presents to the lymphocytes come from? Internal. They come from internal. And what do they replace? The, they replace the normal cellular antigens. Those cells have normal antigens that are on their MHC. Right? Say yes. So they're like new teeth coming in and pushing them through? Uh, not exactly. No. no, it's like the abnormal ones come in and take over from the, the normal ones. Okay. So our class one is going to ident is going to be found on all nucleated cells. It's going to identify abnormal cells, such as infected cells or tumor cells. And what's going to happen is internal or endogenous antigens, and you need to know that, internal and endogenous. I don't know which term I'll use. Are brought out and replace the normal molecules that sit out there. Okay, so normal healthy cells have, they are lined with MHC1 presenters and the antigens that are on them, they normally have antigens on them that tell the lymphocytes, we're okay, you can move on. The MHC class two are found on the external surface of phagocytic cells. So they're going to find cells that have encountered and digested foreign bodies. And so they present exogenous or antigens from outside the cell.
class one presents to which lymphocyte? And I won't write the answer on the board for this one. <laughs> CD8. CD8, which is what kind of cell? Cytotoxic. Cytotoxic or suppressor cell. And our class 2 presents to which? 4. CD4, which is our what? Helper. Who does CD4 help? T cells. Not the natural killer. T cells. T cells. And B cells. Class 2 presents to CD4, helps T of B cells. CD4 helps, yeah, helps the immune, helps T and B cells, sorry. But in a nutshell, that's MHC, guys. Um, and truthfully, what you're going to see on the exam, everything you might see on the exam is in what I've managed to get into two little teeny tiny ones. Class one is on all nucleated cells. It normally has antigens that tell the lymphocytes it's okay. When it is infected or becomes tumorous or becomes malignant, it puts different antigens on there, which are recognized by the CD8 cells, which initiate cytotoxic killing of it, okay? They initiate killer cells and destroy it. Okay. Class two, is found on phagocytic cells, and that's going to include your neutrophils and your monocytes and your macrophages and your dendritics. Yes, ma'am. Okay, I have a question. You have said MH class two molecules are found on neutrophils, monocytes, and macrophages, but on this test, it's found on all this. They're not found on neutrophils? Is that what yeah. it says on the test? Mm -hmm. I will look that up and let you know it will not be on the test tomorrow. How's that? Mm -hmm. All right? It is on phagocytic cells, and that may be. That may be. I will have to look that up. I'm not sure. Yes? So is MHC, is that bad? I, I guess I'm not going to say it. Is it a bad thing? Uh, is it what? Is it like a bad thing? No, MHC is a natural thing. You have it all the time. Okay. It is part of your immune system. Yeah. Okay. What it is, is it's, remember that little kind of cup shape that was in the video we watched? Mm -hmm. Okay. What it is, it's kind of a little pedestal on the outside of a cell where you can put an antigen, sort of like a mailbox. Okay. You can put a little antigen in there and the, the lymphocytes are going to come past. If it's a normal antigen that's in there in a class one, the lymphocytes are just going to ignore the cell and move on. Okay. If the cell is infected or has become malignant or is screwed up somehow, mm -hmm. or sometimes just in the natural process of aging, this can happen, what's going to happen is the antigens that it's going to be putting in this little signpost outside of the cell are not going to be normal. They're going to basically not say, hey, it's me, leave me alone. Okay. The lymphocytes are going to come by and go, hey, wait a minute. It's not healthy. It's not normal because it's got these red flags up, so to speak. And it's going to destroy that cell. That's why you don't have cancer all the time. Okay? When you get a tumor or you get a malignant cell, what happens is it overwhelms your body's ability to kill off the abnormal cells. It, re it replicates too fast. Your class two molecules are always on the surface of your phagocytic cells, okay? And what happens with those is after they have lunch, so to speak, they've broken the cell, the organism that they ate down into little pieces. So when they expel that, some of the antigen from that gets put on that little signpost. Those little signposts are normally, I believe they're normally empty, but they don't, they don't do anything. So the MHC class two molecules, you put the antigen on that little signpost, and as the CD4 cells come through, they go, ooh, what's this? It's not supposed to be here. And they go off and start the immune system, creating antibodies and making cytotoxic cells to kill off whatever that antigen is from. 
Okay? Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. So you said that you won't put the one question that would, because the slide says that it's B lymphocytes, monocytes, and macrophages. It is B lymphocytes. I keep saying, I keep saying, um, Neutrophils and it's not. It's, it's, like so it's B cells. It's B cells. Yeah. It's B cells. Is the um, is class one and class two on on phagocytic cells because they're nucleated as well. Yes. Yeah. Class one will be also on any of your new on your. It will be on both. Right. But class two will only be on those phagocytic cells. So neutrophils are not. They are phagocytic, but they don't digest it in the same way. They use a uh, lysozyme. They use hydrogen. They use a peroxidase, which pretty much destroys it and renders it non-antigenically effective. They're the ones that spew the little bit out, and the other cells come back and the end. Okay, so that is the part that that's the part that's going to be from the last lectures. Okay, that's what's going to be on there. Because really of all the questions that a lot of people missed, it was all pretty much on the major histocompatibility complex. So I'm going to include that back on to this particular one. If you want a drawing of, of an immunoglobulin, y'all did really good with that. I'll put another one on there if you want me to. But I won't if you don't want me to. Three points. Huh? Three points. Huh? Three points. It was ten points. It's three points. Oh, three us. points. Yeah, <laughs> three points. He's points. Okay. Um, when we get this, actually, it isn't a, a massively huge test. So we then we're going to move on to complement. So if we look at the study guide for complement, let me put it up. Uh, there you go. Does it matter? <coughs> mm -hmm. Does everyone have the study guides for the study guides? If not, I'll pop them over. Is it in the syllabus? Huh? You know, is it in the syllabus, do you know? I believe so. Powerful the syllabus? No, not the powerful oh, the study, study guides. Oh, okay. Did you make the keys available? I, I have not made the keys available. I don't have the keys for this particular one. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to take the questions that are going to be on the test, and I'm going to give you the answers to those questions for you to study this week. For you to study. So when you say study guide, you actually you mean study guide? Yeah, the study guide. Mm -hmm. I do not know what it is. 115. 115, okay. 115 and then 116. Yeah, 115 and 116. Okay, so does everyone have them? There you are. We got them? Okay. <laughs> it's still okay. That was just enough. <laughs> that was almost close. Socks. I got a lot of them. I, I, I got like 10 pairs and I wore them all already this morning in play. Those socks come all the way up here. Okay. We're going to pull up this little picture because I like this little picture. It's cute. All right. So I'm not going to worry about where complement is made. Question number one. Where is complement made and what is its main role? Well, it's a protein, so where are all proteins made? The liver. The liver. The liver. Well, I guess I could ask that. That'd be an easy question, wouldn't it? Okay? Yeah. So it's made in the liver because it's a protein. Proteins are all made in the liver. All right. What is its main role? What does it do? What is complement? AIDS. <laughs> okay. It's a lysine system. It's a complementary uh, <laughs> <laughs> Okay. 
got some pieces there. It's a lysing system, but what it coats the red cells. Or not the red cells, I'm sorry. It coats <laughs> the bad cells. I really need to sleep. It coats the invaders, the bad guys. Okay. And pokes holes in them, which lyses them. Lyses foreign organisms. Would um, the complement system ever be activated with a multi cell organism? Yeah. Okay. So it's not just single, single cell bacteria? No, it's not just single cells. Yeah, it can be against parasites and things like that too. Um, let's skip to section number three, question three. List the three complement pathways. No, the, the pathways are the common or the, the classical. Lectin. Alternative. Lectin and alternative. We're down to question five. What are the three functional units? Oh, wait a minute. Actually, what are the three functional units of each pathway? They're all the same. You've got the recognition unit. And what were the other ones to show? You had them. Recognition. Activation unit and membrane attack complex. Activate activation unit and membrane attack complex. The activation unit is pretty much the same for all of them, and so is the, the MAC. So you need to know for the three pathways, what is the recognition unit? In our classic pathway, what is it? C1. In the alternate pathway? C4. It's B. D and P. Factor B, factor P, factor D. Is that the properdin factor P? Properdin. Oh. Okay. And in the leptin pathway, it's mannose, which is a sugar that is found in funguses and things. Okay. And these are the activation. Those are the recognitions. The activation unit centers around C3. C2, 3, and 4, basically. In the classic pathway, 2 and 4 activate 3. In the alternate pathway, um, polysaccharides activate 3. Just basically 3. So the activation pathway is going to be 